infections and you're way too afraid to ask it. I know. You know what? We're going to go over tax deduction 101 here. Hey, my name is Kenner French. I'm with VastSolutionsGroup.com. You know, this episode, we're, it's really part of our ongoing effort to help entrepreneurs, not only in taxes, but also just to help them in the entrepreneurial world. And, you know, again, people are asking about taxes and tax deductions, especially as we come into, you know, uh, the new year and we're heading into, uh, you know, S-Corp filing season, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And this, by the way, this is the, the vast vault where we're unleashing, unlocking, I should say, some, um, some um, really some secrets about uh, things that can help you as an entrepreneur. Uh, let's go over the tax advantages, simply, of owning a business. Are there any? Well, there are several tax advantages of owning a business. And let's go over some of the specific ones. I don't look, uh, just a couple of minutes. This will help you understand the basics of uh, of really tax deductions. So deductions for business expenses, which we're going to do in a little bit. Uh, business owners can claim deductions for a wide range of expenses that are directly related to their business. I'll give an example. Rent, utilities, supplies, travel expenses, computers. There's just an example. These deductions can reduce a business owner's taxable income, which can reduce the and lower the tax liability. Okay. Now, what about deductions for home office expenses? A lot of people ask about that. If a business owner works from home, they potentially could be eligible to claim a deduction for a portion of their home expenses, i.e. mortgage interest and property taxes. This can be a significant tax savings for a business owner, especially if they're working from home, which a lot of our clients do. We have a lot of solopreneurs, especially in the, in the, ta- in the, um, in the real estate space. What about deductions for capital expenditures? Well, Business owners can claim deductions for the cost of purchasing or improving business assets, such as an equipment or, or a building. These, you know, those deductions are known as what's called capital expenditures and can be claimed um, over a period of time. It really depends. Um, and what I would say, by the way, as I'm thinking about it, remember to talk to your advisor, call us, go to our website if you have any questions, because don't do anything obviously based on what a what a website says or what a you know what a podcast says you know you got to confer with your situation with your with your uh, advisor whomever that is and if it's us great you know please feel free to reach out uh we can you know we're one click away at vastsolutionsgroup.com what about lower tax rates on business income you know i i sh- should mention that one in many cases business owners can pay a lower tax rate on their business income than they would pay on their personal income so this can result in a overall lower tax liability. Well, overall, there are many advantages of owning a business, you know, by claiming deductions for business expenses and capital expenditures and taking advantage of lower tax rates and business income. Uh, you know, business owners can save money on their taxes and keep more of their earning. What That's what it's about. Who, you know, let's say you make a million dollars, but you have whatever, I'm making this up, $900,000 in taxes or $900,000 in expenses. It's not what you make. Great, you made a million dollars. But really, ultimately, what it's about is what your take-home is. The more you take home, the more you can have for retirement or the more you can spend on your family, the more time you could you know, spend with your family because you're paying employees or paying other people uh, to do whatever it is you don't want to do because you've lowered your taxes. Now, let's go into the specifics of what is a tax deduction. Again, please stick with me here. The base, If you know the, the basics here, we're going to build up. Okay, but if you don't know, if, you know, remember this is tax deduction 101. If if you don't know what tax deductions are, please, this is an important component here. Now, uh, a tax deduction it's a reduction in a person's taxable income that potentially can redu- re- result in a lower tax liability. So deductions, think of them as are expenses that are allowed to be subtracted from a person's, you know, income when calculating their tax liability. Basically, the government's paying you to invest in your business, if you really think about it. That's the way I look at it, at least. You know, there are two types of deductions. There's, you know, these things called standard deductions and itemized deductions. Standard deductions are fixed amounts that taxpayers can claim on their return without providing a specific documentation or a specific receipt, generally. Itemized deductions, on the other hand, require taxpayers to provide a specific document or receipt for each of those uh, deductions that they claim, okay? itemized. All right, think of item or receipt. Now, deductions can be claimed for a whole variety of expenses, such as a home mortgage interest, charitable de- donation, medical expense, or maybe even a business expense. You know, In order to claim a deduction, 
taxpayers must meet certain requirements and limitations and must provide documentation and receipts to support their deduction, generally speaking, if called upon. So overall tax deductions are really other expenses that can be subtracted, again, from a person's income when calculating their tax liability, you know, which usually, again, lowers the overall tax bill. You don't, meaning you don't have to give money to Uncle Sam per se because you've <laughs> lowered your tax liability. All right, let's go over the what we would say at vastsolutionsgroup.com are the top five commonly missed deductions for entrepreneurs. Number, um, we'll go over, yeah, I said five. So uh, how about home office deduction? You know, what is that? Again, as I mentioned above, uh, I should say before, uh, it allows business owners who work from home to claim a portion of their uh, home expenses, such as mortgage interest, you know, property taxes, et cetera. Vehicle expenses, a lot of people... This is this is kind of a tricky one for some time for some people. Entrepreneurs who use their personal vehicle for business purposes, they can claim a deduction for the cost of gas, oil, repairs, and other expenses relating to the vehicle. Now, uh, sometimes people say, "Well, should I buy? Should I rent?" Depends on the circumstances. We have a calculator, a, a proprietary calculator, where we could figure out if it in your situation if it makes sense, and that's again AI based. Um, I'm going to remind you. Everyone's saying they're AI. Well, we've been doing AI for years. You know, we're on record. You could, you know, we've partnered with Google years ago. We're using Google, Google TensorFlow years ago. You know, we're still generally speaking with uh, with Google. We use Bard some, uh, which is kind of a it augments our Einstein AI tech. Anyway, um, enough about us. This is not about us. You know, this is really about how to help you understanding uh, deductions, tax deductions. This is again tax deduction one hundred and one. Um, uh, what about meals and ex- uh, entertainment? Entrepreneurs can claim a deduction for the cost of meals and entertainment. Generally, they're directly related to their business, such as you know business lunches or you know client dinners, taking the staff out, etc. Now, CE, professional development or continuing education, whatever you want to call it, business owners can claim deductions for the cost of professional development expenses. You know, conferences, seminars, training courses. Uh, um, Web memberships, depending on the circumstances, you know, these are just those are the five. I would say the five commonly missed deductions for entrepreneurs. It's totally important. You got to be aware of those. So, um, you know, again, please feel free to reach out, talk to your advisor. It's probably best you go and talk to your advisor. Hopefully, he or she understands a little bit about deductions versus just doing the tax return and not really delving into your specific situation. Now, then the question is, why are those? Think about this. Why do entrepreneurs miss? Business deductions. Well, entrepreneurs often miss deductions for a whole bunch of reasons, but really common reasons, you know, they're not aware of them. They, they just have no clue. Well, hopefully, you know, this and other uh, element, other um, uh, efforts going on by the, um, either by the tax advisor or the entrepreneur will help, help get over that barrier. But really another reason that entrepreneurs miss a the deductions, they don't keep detailed records. It makes sense to keep detailed records. If you have an LLC, you really should, well, you have to have an ATM card or a checking account or a savings account or a credit card for that LLC as an example, for that endeavor. So it makes it easy, by the way, to maintain detailed records. Also a bookkeeper. It's important to have a bookkeeper in some cases to help you with that. I know as an entrepreneur, it's really hard, but if you have an, a bookkeeper that can help you uh, in that regard, keep detailed records. Well, that's another reason people, you know, miss their deduction. And, you know, me personally as an entrepreneur, I'm willing to pay a, a, a bookkeeper, whatever it is, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars an hour, whatever the case is, if they can save me whatever, a hundred dollars an hour, because I've missed some deductions and they wouldn't, you know, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I think bookkeeping's very, very important. So, you know, your rate of return on an investment. Anyway, that's a whole nother uh, episode, really, you know, some business owners are they're also hesitant to take deductions because they're you know afraid of being audited by the IRS. Well, if you're not cheating, uh, really, I mean, come on, if you're not cheating, you're you're probably all good, you know. Plus, if you get audited and you show you've done a good job, it is what it is. Sure, it's a drain on your on your resources, but hey, if you're doing the right thing, you're doing the right thing. Anyway, overall, there are many reasons why entrepreneurs may not or may I should say may not take deductions or miss deductions or whatever the case is. It's just Hopefully you understand it's important. Be aware of the deductions that are available out there. Now, do here's a question. You know, I'm often asked, do tax preparers help 
their clients find deductions? I'm going to say yes to that, just like I did for the for the bookkeepers. You know, when I made that mention earlier, they can help clients find deductions versus you know business owners, entrepreneurs doing it themselves. Tax preparers, they're trained. They know what's going on, especially if they're using advanced technology as we are. And when working with a tax preparer generally, business owners can provide information about their business, income, expenses, and tax preparer usually can help uh, identify the deductions, you know. You know, in addition to helping business owners find deductions, preparers can also provide a little bit of guidance on how to properly claim the deduction on their return because they're so, you know, it's getting more and more complex. You know, tax forms are getting more complex, even even much more than they used to be back in, back in the day when I started really in business back in 92. Um, now, overall, tax preparers can be a valuable resource, but some, you know, sometimes there's issues. The number one complaint about tax preparers is they're not good communicators. You know, I, I would agree with that. But then again, in some cases, you know, You've got to work with your CPA, with your tax preparer, um, form a relationship. They're going to be one of your biggest advocates. They're, I mean, they know your financial situation. And if they, if you can work with them, there's a communication, a two-way communication that can lower your tax liability. Then you're really good to go. Well, or, hey, if you, your tax preparer isn't helping you, you know, feel free to reach out to us at vastsolutionsgroup.com or a click away. But more than anything, hopefully this has helped you to understand a little bit more about tax deductions and you won't miss out on any of those deductions. Getting those deductions can save you a ton of money. I remember talking to a client, or actually knew it was a, he became a client. You know, he missed out on, on this is an incredible number, just this was last week, by the way, over $200,000 in, in deductions. That's a lot of money. He, you know, I don't, I don't know the exact number of uh, uh, amount that he could have saved, but I will just tell you, if he would have gotten some of those deductions, it's considerable amount of money. How about this? It's more than I would, uh, more than I would like to pass up. Anyway, so hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions or need any information, again, by the way, go to your tax provider. He or she knows your situation. Or if you're not getting good communication, not getting advanced technology like we have at VastSolutionsGroup.com, please feel free, free to reach out. Once again, this is Kenner French at VastSolutionsGroup.com. It's been a pleasure, and hopefully we've added some value to you. And now you know just that much more about Tax Deduction 101.